Hey, what's going on guys? Dylan of the Hypercraft here, and today, welcome back to another episode of Factions here on pvp.thearchon.net. So today, guys, uh, Russia's plan is finally revealed to us today, and hopefully, uh, those of you guys that have been playing on the server uh, already know it, and... Uh, for those of you guys that have found our base and are trying to raid it, you guys already know. But uh, this video is pretty much a bunch of uh, random clips. Uh, I prevent hoodlums from uh, raiding us uh, by blowing up some stuff. You know, just the uh, just the normal faction stuff. And then I'll give you guys a tour of my base here in a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the video. Okay, Dylan, I know you have seen it already. But I tried starting to record before you got a full look. Dude, we're neighbors. Wait. Oh, what? <laughs> we're the neighbors, buddy. It is the, just from my viewer's perspective, I stayed up all night, Napkin and I. Napkin stayed up literally till 11.30 a.m. the next morning. 11.30. My viewers have actually not seen what, what Napkin did after I went to sleep. This guy is a machine, we dude. We did the clip. This is what happened? This is the plan, dude. We are neighbors. There is literally no space in between us. It is claim to claim, wall beside wall. Titan burst, Titan, my man. That so so that's what you <laughs> meant by, but your base has something to do with me. Yeah, and you're literally we're be very next to me. We're neighbors. I don't want to be neighbors, dude. We're neighbors. This is this means when we're playing defense, we're near each other. When we're playing offense, we're near each other. We're always near each other. We can always fight and hang out and kill each other. Oh, dude, let's just, let's just build, other. like, a pool, like, in the middle, like a hot tub. Let's just, like, let's just chill in there, <laughs> dude. Why not? Holy Why not, frick. man? Why not? Well, my beautiful man, let's go take a tour. And for my – let's just jump and slash fly, hey? Might as well. Yeah, just to uh, what make it look a little bit more beautiful. All right, all right. So I got to show my viewers. This will reveal to my viewers. Look at what freaking napkin has Holy done. Holy uh, mother of God. Yeah, he built uh, 12 walls, he said. How many is that? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 extra walls. Keep this in mind. I went to bed at around 5 a.m. last night uh, filming this video, like building this base. We stayed up. You know, Dylan went to bed around 12-ish uh, my time. So we, we built for about five to six hours, got most of the ocean done and the claims. Uh, actually, Napkin did all the claims too, I'm not going to lie. This kid, th not this kid, this guy's old. This guy is a machine. He's dude. older than you. 12 freaking walls. He's just about done. He It's it's 6 p.m. the next day, and I don't think he stopped, to be honest. I think he took a three-hour power nap. Holy. This guy's insane, dude. Um, yeah, we, we were debating going to copy your base completely. But uh, we decided not to do the the middle wall. You we wanted to change like, it up a little that bit. That adds defenses to my side. To like one of my walls. But, I know, I know. It does. Well, that's the thing, dude. We kind of defend each other. But at the same time, this is going to be a... Uh, I, I, I said it's not no man's land. You know what no man's land is, yeah, right? Yeah. Obviously. So the reason it's not, though, is there is no place where we can both build here. It's claimed on my side. It's claimed on your side, dude. So we're literally right next to each other. We are we're neighbors. We're touching at all times. I, and I don't want to be neighbors. <laughs> can, can you dude, just move your base what? away? No, it's it's over, dude. The only way this base is going down, it's not going down, dude. This is the you can see napkin what he's doing. He's making this. We're making this the the toughest base, the most unrateable base we've ever created, dude. And and you're doing the same thing. I guess this I better add more walls. Yeah, add more wall. Well, I mean, yeah, it's game on, dude. We've got what uh, over a week left, just over a week left in this uh, faction season, and we're right beside each other. Game on, player versus player, Titan versus Titan, Dauntless versus Team Nudist. I I don't even know what to say <laughs> at this point, dude. He's shocked. Yes, I love it, dude. I love it. Now there is one negotiation I have to put up because. Other than this, uh, you can see, you can see all around this base, the walls are here. Our base is so protected. Your base is so protected. It's actually uh, an asking from me, uh, a negotiation. We are, uh, this base is not fully complete. Uh, you can see the part right next to your base is just one wall. And okay, let's be honest, you can with. Just a yeah, 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 t yeah. TP to me, TP. Right, I'm here, I'm here. All right, uh, continue. Oh, you are here? Okay. Yeah. 
This wall, you could literally wither through within 15 minutes. Let's be honest. 15 to 20 minutes, you could wither through. Although you'd have to take down some of your wall, you may make yourself a little bit weaker. But you could honestly get a raid on us on this side within an hour and a half. Yeah, That's because I we haven't cannon. found the solution. Uh, we messed up the gap uh, like placement. So we don't have an ocean over here. So what I'm asking you is for a couple days grace period, if you're planning to raid, give us... 48 hours right here 48 hours give us that time to come up with a solution i'll pay you a million dollars a million million dollars and keep in mind this place is going to be secured like 48 hours at a time anyways so you may not be able to do it especially near the start but i just want to be safe i want to make a i guess a semi truce on our on our border here we can raid each other over there i mean you can try and i can try there but right here, semi-truce, I'll give you a million we'll, bucks. We'll, we'll just make this no man's land, I guess. Now that yeah, can head give there. It, yeah, two days. Two days. You cool with that? Uh, uh A million dollars is tempting. I mean, I, like, I have 52 mil, so it's like, I'm tempted, <laughs> right? But it's like... Well, I'll just think about all the golems it. you need to buy, though. Do you oh, yeah, extra very golem? true, very true, yeah. And, you know, uh, and then the base will be fully complete, because right now it's about 90% complete. Ah, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you for giving us that bonus. And speaking of like nice things, last night Bionic caught us before the ocean was up, dude. Before yeah. the ocean was up, and he could have TP'd everyone in. He he came in at about three thirty or four a.m. Jump napkin killed him. I ended up killing him, uh, but we were able to bribe him to uh to stay out of it. Let us fully complete the base. So I, yeah, I'm I, I fine know with that as like, you did let me complete a majority of my base. Like we, we've sort of had that, I guess, ongoing deal about our base. Exactly. Yeah. We're arch enemies, but I, I feel like we're being very sportsmanlike about it. And, uh, perfect. Well, I'll pay you a million right here. Uh, this is what happens when Braden gets $30 million. I use it for good things. Heck yeah. Um, uh, there it is, dude. That is, that is the plan I've been working on. Titan versus Titan episode 600 and not only this this final leg of factions is gonna be insane dude um, here. yeah man good luck to you man i guess that's all i have to say i'm i'm definitely gonna be seeing you on the walls i wish you the best bro same to you i'm a bit shocked but uh, i'm looking forward to it <laughs> all right man later later Hey guys, this is just a small little clip here on uh, my side of things, but what I'm going to be doing guys, I'm going to go to home C monster, and I need to destroy this cobble monster right here that uh, Hoodlums is uh, building to ch attempt to raid my uh, base. So we're just going to get this uh, set up right here. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm literally, uh, I don't know where I can, uh, where I can claim. So you guys, a majority of you guys already know where my base is anyways. There's not much I can do. Can I place here? F bypass off. You make sure yeah I can what I'm gonna do guys is I'm just gonna, literally I'm just gonna blow up this uh, you know this column monster because I need to just keep them uh, from raiding me because you guys can see that or like I've uh, I've repaired the walls with some of my faction members uh, we're trying to keep them off our walls right now but uh, they keep trying they keep trying and of course though since this is my claim I can literally just keep coming back and uh, blowing this up and uh, once again guys I have F bypass off so right here is all uh, good for me to uh, to set up and to blow up. And a majority of you guys already know where my base is anyways. Uh, so it's no big deal that I did F map anyways. All right, here we go. Let's just blow this stuff up. Any of my allies, uh, you're welcome around here. Uh, I suggest you guys help claim the uh, the outside if you guys would like our, our forces to keep on going and uh, keep on winning on this side of factions. So here we go. Let's just set this up and then let's blow this up. I'm right, gonna dip. Uh, we're gonna head onto the walls here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Rip, ripping pepperonis, cobble monster. Uh, obviously, we still have a lot more to do, and we're gonna just get this going, and uh, we're gonna get all of this, all of this sort of cleared. I, I believe I missed my pearl there. Home sea monster. Did I? Yeah, that that broke my home. Rip, 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 pepperoni. Rip all right, so I'm gonna uh, go get a home out there uh, once again, and then uh, we'll see. All right, there. Oh, actually, there we go. Well, we're already here. So what we're gonna do is I might blow a little bit more of this uh, up on camera just so that you guys can see uh, all the destruction and the mayhem that we're gonna be causing. So what I another thing that I noticed, guys, is that they also built this cannon uh, on my live stream. I fought Quemzy uh, in Hoodlums up over here, and uh, so one thing I need to keep in mind though that uh, they they can try to cannon in. So I have this claim right here. I can I can literally I can just blow this up. 
Let me go to home base and then I'll slash back. I'm gonna grab all of this. Uh, so also, I, I did some updates and uh, some work on the interior, in, interior, the interior here on stream. So we got it set up to where uh, I guess all the chests are good to go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on the iron golems because we have, or we can get roughly around two stacks of golems here in a little bit. Can I place here? Where, can, where can't I place? All right, I can't place starting there. All right, so I can literally, I can blow up half of this monster, and they're going to have to start all over again, which uh, that sucks for them. And then uh, since we repaired the walls, they literally have to start all over. And we have an ally claim over in that direction, which means that they won't be getting anywhere uh, near there. Also, another thing, I'm going to blow up uh, the rest of their cannon as I can place all the way right next to it. Let's just, I uh, can't place right there. What I'll do is I'll just stack a bunch of TNT in this area. I'm just gonna blow all this up, guys. I don't want to make, or I don't want any chances. I'm gonna be defending my walls a lot during uh, stream and things like that. Uh, that way, none of this will be breached. I also have my faction members from the different time zones defending all of this, guys. I'm really pumped for uh, for episode 600 for Russia side, and I'm excited for the battle that's uh, that's to come. But of course, I need to prepare and I need to make sure that my side can take it. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this gonna pearl over and we're just gonna watch the destruction here we go guys there we freaking go there's down for the cobble monster and I'm gonna finish it off here on camera so you guys can see let's just blow up this cobble monster frick this stupid cobble monster right here and then and then I I'm, I'm pretty content that we won't get raided uh, for a bit for a bit now I can't oh no I can't place along there or I could but it'd be a bit difficult just blow up the rest of this here. Set all of this up. There we go. Yeah, now assuming they try to cobble monster again, it's going to be a very, very, very mess messy cobble monster on uh, their part. So I'm not too worried in regards to, uh, of course, them trying again. And I can, again, this is my claim, so I can literally come back each time, blow it up. Or uh, I could just suicide bomb in. So it's no big deal. Do that. Blow that up. Pearl over. And that's about to, uh, there she blows. Alrighty. Rip Cobble Monster. Nice try, hoodlums. Uh, you guys are going to have to try again another time. And we got our source blocks fixed up over here. This literally took me maybe around an hour to fix all of the damage, along with the help of some faction members uh, on these walls here. But of course, we got it all fixed. Uh, they're not going to be raiding us anytime soon. This ocean is intact. And thanks to the TPS being up, guys, uh, these ocean uh, blocks actually regenerate really fast. So... I'm not too worried. I'm pretty confident, especially uh, due to our claims right now. And, of course, we're going to get more power. I'm um, going to get some alts on in the faction. That way, uh, we'll be good to go. But, anyways, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed uh, this little clip. I'll see you guys uh, here in a little bit. All right, guys. So, I uh, I ended up blowing up the cobble monster uh, outside, actually, a few times. Uh, I didn't actually, uh, I guess, record that part. Well, I recorded it, but I didn't actually upload it. As uh, I had just woken up, uh, I was woken up uh, early in the morning, and that's when I went to go blow it up. So my voice was sort of, I guess, tired uh, sounding. So I just wouldn't really blend into sort of the effect of the video itself. But as you guys can see, as a, I guess an update from the last little clip here, uh, we've been working on our base. Well, actually, I did a majority of this, uh, surprisingly. Um, I did some of this on stream, and then I did, a, I did more. Just I spent like two hours... Uh, I guess just, I guess chilling, uh, working on, working on the interior of the base and then also the, uh, the little golem spawner. So we got chests right here. Now what I gotta do is I probably need to organize the rest of this. I have like parts of it, uh, good to go, but, uh, of course there can always, uh, be room for improvement and then we'll just finish it off here. And then we have our golem spawner. So right now we have around 42 golems in there. Now, if you guys check my balance, I have around $53 million. So I could obviously expand that. Just keep on adding golems to the ground. Uh, you know, things and such like that. Now this, uh, I haven't really AFK'd and none of my faction members have AFK'd here just yet. I might try AFKing tonight and then we'll just see sort of how much it actually uh, will make us. But lots of golems equals lots of money. So, oh yeah, I can see that my faction members have actually been selling it. Oh yeah, you guys can see there's uh, the full little bunches of, uh, of iron here in these. Now, what I want to do, guys, is let me just uh, let me just head to the top of this uh, area real quick. That way, um, I sort of explain a bit better of what I want to do. 
So you guys can see that uh, this right here, this nether brick, I can actually turn this into a floor. What I want to do is right here, I'm going to turn this maybe into a blaze farm. Um, and then this right here to either another blaze farm or a cow farm. Or something like that. I don't know. Let me get or let me know, guys, down in the comment section below what sort of other farms I should add. Because if if I do slash e chest, let me just actually climb back up because I started it. Uh, fall in there. Let me do slash e chest. You guys can see I have 13 zombie pigmen. I have four blazes and I have a zombie and I have 41 cows. So I don't really know what to do with everything just yet. I mean, I'll eventually figure it out, no doubt about that. But you know what? It, it'll be good to know and it'll be good to get your guys' input uh, on it. Now, probably what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go monitor the walls right now because I want to make sure that uh, I'm not getting uh, raided. Alrighty, so we're on the walls right now, guys. And you know what I realized? I was looking at my arrows, and this literally, the arrow is, oh my gosh, the arrow names. Holy, some of these guys in facts right here. So these walls look right now intact. I've actually have mon I've monitored uh, some of these over the past few hours. It seems to me that someone was, was actually trying to build a cannon over there. But as I'm looking at it, I don't really know what type of cannon they were trying to do. It didn't look too efficient. There's literally like a comparator and like two blocks of water. So I don't really know what on earth they were trying to do. I am on the outside here. I might just try to break out and then I'll place back this right here. Just a bit more of a... Uh, a quick way to head to the outside so let's just explore this so again uh, I have repaired a majority of my walls uh, along with the help of the other youtubers in my faction such as Bionic and Skidzy and say Raza and uh, all of them they have helped me uh, work on the walls as of late so uh, I'm not too worried about this and also uh, due to the uh, I guess the the lack of lag I guess you could say here on the Archon now, uh, source blocks are very, very, very difficult to break as this will pretty much refill right away. So let's just see here. This is right outside. Yes, you guys can see this is the cobble or this was the cobble monster. Um, it looks a bit different uh, in comparison to the previous clip where I was blowing it up because they did actually try to rebuild this cobble monster. But uh, I just blew it up again as the cobble monster was in my claim. Now what I want to do is I probably... I can actually maybe set up a cannon and just blow through the middle of this that way I don't know that way they'll just be stuck a little bit more and uh, hopefully hopefully hoodlums will actually stay off my walls because this is just getting a bit annoying having to appear here every single damn morning just to blow up their uh, their little cobble monster here I don't know when they'll realize they're not raiding me I'm not letting them raid me guys so uh, hopefully our base should stay up until Rushers episode 600 because I'm pretty excited uh, I'm expecting a war I'm expecting a war between our Titan bases uh, his base has just absurd defenses mine obviously is not at that tier but I doubt mine will be able to uh, be raided anytime soon anyways so I'm anyways guys I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of factions be sure to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed uh, there's gonna be a more action-packed episode tomorrow trust me guys I uh, just had to record this one to I guess keep you guys updated on what's been going on in the uh, the faction stuff uh, why would I TP you to me uh, in I guess you know an update to all of the faction stuff like I just said um, I guess Russia's plan was revealed and all of that stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully, hopefully you guys are, I don't know, you guys could be surprised. You guys, I don't know, things are getting a lot more interesting and uh, I'm pumped for it and I hope you guys are too. Anyways, once again, hopefully y'all enjoyed and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Factions, the show, every single day. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.